Ever wondered how those fast, stylish text animations go viral on social media? In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create one from scratch in After Effects. No paid plugins. Just clean, pro-level motion that grabs attention. Stick around till the end because I'll even show you how to save it as a reusable preset to speed up your workflow forever. Let's hit the intro. All right, let's jump right in. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I'm naming it Viral Text Animation. You can use portrait presets if you're making content for Instagram or TikTok, but since we're creating this for YouTube, I'm going with a landscape format. Set the duration to five seconds, then hit OK. Now, create a new solid layer and name it Background. Choose a soft light blue or white shade to keep the vibe clean and minimal. Next, go to the toolbar and select the text tool. For this project, I'm using the Jubilant font, starting with the medium metallic style because we'll be switching between different font styles later for a stylish, modern look. Before we start typing the actual text, let's import our audio file. This will help us sync the visuals with the voiceover. Once your audio is on the timeline, press the L key twice to reveal the waveform, which shows where the beats or voice cues land. This is the viral text animation technique. Play through it and find the end point of the useful audio section. Press N on the keyboard to set the work area's this out point so you can focus technique. only on that duration. This. Now it's time to start typing. Click on the screen and add your first word. Change the text color to a dark blue or near black to create contrast with the background. Each word should be placed on a separate layer, so you have full control over animation timing. Use Control plus Enter to exit the text box after each word. Select the Move tool and align your text neatly across the frame. For a more engaging visual style, mix up the font styles or even different font families to create variation and keep things visually dynamic. Align your text properly and this is how it should look so far. To add variety, I am using a different font style for one of the words. Now let's make our workflow easier by adding markers for timing. First, make sure no layer is selected. Then press the star key on your number pad to add a marker on the timeline. Using the audio waveform as a guide, place a marker at each word's position in the voiceover. This will help you perfectly align each word with the audio during animation. This is the viral text animation technique. This. Once your markers are in place, it's time to create a text animation. Start by creating a new composition and name it text animation. Quickly add some text here. You can copy and paste the text from the earlier layers to save time. Now let's animate it. Open the text layer, click on the animate button and select position. Then click add, go to property and choose opacity. Change the position Y value to 120 so the text starts off screen. Then open the range selector and make sure your playhead is at the first frame. Set the offset to minus 100 and add a keyframe. Move to the 15th frame mark and change the offset to 100. Next, open the advanced section, set based onto words, and change the shape to ramp up. Now set ease high to minus 100 and ease low to 100 for a smooth flowing animation. Preview the animation and you'll notice a clean and fast moving text effect. Now reduce the opacity to 0% to create a subtle fade while maintaining speed. We're using a quick text animation style so that the text doesn't take too long to reveal. Let's now animate the text out. Move the timeline to the three second mark, select the existing animator one and duplicate it. Rename the first one to animator in and the second to animator out. Open animator out, go into the range selector, then into advanced. Change the shape to ramp down, keeping the other settings the same. Now adjust the position to minus 120 to make the exit animation look different from the entry. Select the keyframes for animator out and move them to the three second mark to time the exit animation properly. Now play the animation and you will see both in and out text transitions. Let's add more style. In animator out, click add, go to property and choose blur. Set the blur radius to 100 to give the disappearing text a smooth, fading blur. You can adjust the blur value based on your preference. Play the animation again. It looks cleaner now, but still a bit too basic. To enhance it further, tweak the ease high and ease low values to create a more dynamic feel. Finally, instead of having the entire word disappear at once, we want each letter to animate individually. 
Click on Randomize Order and change based on to character. This way, each letter will animate individually, giving the text a more dynamic feel. Now let's save this as a reusable animation preset. Select both Animator In and Animator Out, go to the Animation menu and click on Save Animation Preset. Don't change the location, just give it a name. I'm calling it Viral Text Animation. Hit Save. Now go back to your main timeline. Here, we need to apply the saved animation to each text layer. Make sure you're at the first frame, then go to the Effects and Presets panel, scroll to Animation Presets, then User Presets. You'll see the viral text animation preset this you just created. Double click on it and this it will be applied to the selected text layer. Perfect. Select the next text layer and repeat the same process. Double click the preset to apply it. You'll need to do this one by one for each text layer. Once all layers have the preset applied, this preview your animation. animation. You'll notice all the text layers are animating at the same time. To fix this and create a better flow, we will place each word at its own marker location this way, it will sync with our voiceover audio. This makes the animation feel more engaging and professional. This is the viral text animation technique. It's getting better, but we want all text layers to disappear at the same time. To do that, select all your text layers and press U to reveal the keyframes. Now toggle full screen by pressing the key left of the number one on your keyboard. With all keyframes visible, select the ending keyframes of each layer and align them so they all finish together. This will make every word disappear at the same moment. This is the viral text animation technique. Now minimize all layers to clean up the timeline. Select all your text layers again and turn on motion blur for each. If you don't see the switches, right click in that section, go to columns and enable switches. Also turn on the global motion blur button at the top of the timeline. This will add a smooth finishing touch to your text movement. Next, create a new adjustment layer and name it noise and glow. Go to Effects and Presets and search for Noise. Apply it to the adjustment layer. Zoom in to view your text clearly, then increase the noise amount to around 23%. Uncheck the Use Color Noise option for a cleaner effect. After that, lower the noise to around 14% if it looks too harsh. Finally, fit your comp to 100% to review the final look. Now go to the Effects and Presets panel again and search for Glow. Drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer. Zoom in so you can clearly see the changes on your text. Now adjust the glow radius to around 8% to give a subtle glowing effect. Some of the text may look less visible after this, so select those specific text layers and increase the font weight to make them more readable. You can also experiment with different font colors, especially for the bold text, to highlight specific words or create contrast. I'm just changing the color here for this demonstration purposes, but feel free to use what works best for your design. Personally, I don't prefer this color combo, but it's all about experimenting. Now let's refine the noise effect. Select the adjustment layer again and reduce the noise amount to 10% for a cleaner finish. This is the viral text animation technique. This is the viral text. You can also reorder the effects by placing the noise effect above or below the glow, depending on what look you prefer. This gives the animation a bit more personality and polish. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, good luck and peace. This is the viral text animation technique. This is the viral text animation technique.